Well, good morning, everyone, or should I say good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here and to be looking out at so many people, all of you that have been involved in one way or another, to make the health care for our residents in this area absolutely the best that can possibly, can possibly be. You know, I drive past this hospital just about every day that I'm in town. And over the last three to four years, I've seen the construction that's been taking place here. And the tremendous, uh, and always with a wish, of course, but when is it going to be over? <laughs> when is it truly going to be over and when is it going to be uh, opened up? Because we all here realize the state that our cancer care center was in before. And not so much the, obviously, the care that people got on a day-to-day -day basis in one way or another, which has always been excellent, but more in the way in which they approach the center itself. We remember the dungeon underneath the, uh, the, uh, the roadway going up to the emergency department. And I often thought to myself, uh, having come in here over the last number of years, what kind of an impression will this have on the people that we're really doing this all for? And that is the patients. And obviously, uh, I would think that it wouldn't put them in the best frame of mind. And now having seen the redevelopment that has taken place, not only with respect to the cancer care center, but with respect to the mental health unit, with respect to the new dialysis unit, the patients of this area will be so much better served, not by the people, that's always been excellent, but by the surroundings that they're in as they're taking the kind of treatment and care that's required for them in order for them to lead a more productive life and to overcome the difficulties that they have. And just looking out upon each and every one of you, and I know just probably about 90% of the people in the room here right now, each and every one of you bring back a different memory that I have of your involvement with the healthcare system. As many of you have probably heard in the past, I've always said it's about the patient. It's not so much about our institutions. It's not so much about the different organizations that we have. We all want them to work well together, so many different ways, but it's always centrally focused on what is best for the patient. And so I just want to, on behalf of my own behalf and on behalf of the government, and you'll be hearing from the minister in a few moments, uh, thank you for your involvement. Whether it's on the board, whether it's as a donor, whether it's as a, a, a patron of this hospital, whether it's a, the actual caregiver on a day-to-day -day basis, the, all the professional health care uh, givers in this hospital or wherever else in the community. This community would not be the community that it is, the caring kind of community, without your involvement on a day-to-day -day basis. So thank you to each and every one of you for an outstanding job and for, for caring for our community to make sure that the people here in southeastern Ontario are looked uh, after in the best possible way. I now want to introduce you to someone that uh, I've come to know extremely well over the last eight to nine years, an individual who is truly compassionate and dedicated to everything she does. She's a doctor as well, a doctor in demography, not quite the doctors that we have here necessarily, an individual who has always shown a tremendous, uh, a tremendous not only regard, but compassion for the less vulnerable in our society. She started out her ministerial career about four years ago as Minister of Community uh, of, of Children and Youth Services. And in that regard, she was asked by the Minister, by the Premier, to basically develop a uh, poverty strategy that has been adopted across the House by all parties. And that is reduced poverty, the, the poverty situation for young children in our, in our province by 25% over the next five years. And from that, of course, she's become the Minister of Health. Uh, I can tell you just from the number of individuals that we've already met with today, and we met with all of the caregiving organizations that are now united under the LIN in the new governance model that it has, has devised. We've met with the Patient Council here, in, uh, here at the Kingston General Hospital and we've seen the operating rooms, we've seen the cancer care facilities here. Her interest in that work is genuine and deeply felt. 
And I think we in Ontario, regardless of whatever political stripe you may be, are extremely, are extremely fortunate to have someone that cares as much about what happens to the health care system and to the health of the patients in Ontario as much as our Minister of Health.